all my friends. I hope you're having a fabulous day. It's a beautiful day here, a little bit chilly. And uh, today we're going to give you a legal tip. And I wanna thank you all for watching and for subscribing. And if you have not subscribed, please, boom, smash the subscribe button, click the like, click on the bell, and for my friends who don't know this, I've said it, I know I sound like a broken record. You can subscribe for free. I do not charge you to subscribe. Most channels do not. You can subscribe for free. You can remain anonymous. And YouTube, a Google product, does not track you. So nobody knows that you're watching my videos. And as long as you do not make a profile where everybody can say, oh, that's John Smith and comment, uh, you know, you're, you're 100 percent protected and anonymous and hidden, no tracking. So please subscribe, tell your friends to subscribe, like my videos. I would love a comment because that helps as well. So today, what are we talking about? Boom. Nobody wants to get stuck with a sour taste in their mouth. We're talking about the lemon law, Maryland's lemon law. What does it deal with? Maryland's lemon law created by the legislature deals with automobiles, trucks, and motorcycles. Not only items that you buy, but also items that you lease. And so you buy a car, you buy a motorcycle, you buy a truck, you lease the same. We're going to just stick with car to make it easier for me. If you have the same problem four or more times within 24 months and less than 18,000 miles, and that problem substantially impairs the value of the vehicle or the vehicle was out of service for 30 days or more for a multitude of issues. It doesn't have to be the same issue. It could be a variety of issues. If it's out of service for 30 or more days during that same 24 months or less than 18,000 miles, the manufacturer needs to refund your monies or offer you a replacement. And here's another factor that could give you the rights under the lemma law. And that is if you have a braking or steering system issue that has been repaired one time and it still fails to meet Maryland safety inspection laws, the manufacturer has to refund your money or offer you a replacement. So, you know, in today's world, most cars are reliable. Uh, this was created decades ago when cars were least reliable, less reliable. Where I think this is going to play a role again in the future is electric vehicles. Because electric vehicles are new for the most part. It is a new genre of transportation. And more manufacturers are getting into the business. So Tesla has been around for a while. Kia's electric vehicles are also outstanding according to all the reviews that I've read and reports from Consumer Reports. Um, but more and more manufacturers are getting into the business and there's always a learning cur curve with regards to what works, what doesn't work, what's an issue, what's not an issue. So I see the Lemon Law playing a big role in the future with, with regards to electric vehicles. So what do you have to do for the Lemon Law? First, practical advice, keep all your receipts, all your documents, 
and document every issue that you're having with the vehicle. A piece of practical advice is do your research. I like consumer reports. Don't buy a vehicle that has a bad track record. Don't buy a vehicle from a manufacturer that has a bad track record. So you're kind of increasing your odds that you won't get stuck with a lemon. Even before, let's assume that we're having an issue with a uh, 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 part of the car and you've already had it two times, three times, even before the lemon loss triggered, you can send the manufacturer a letter saying, hey, I'm having this issue with the car and you can start to put them on notice. Let's say it happens four times or the car is out of service for 30 more days or there's a brake and steering system issue that's net, that can't be repaired and it, and it fails Maryland safety inspection laws. You file a complaint. If you go onto the Maryland Attorney General website, Consumer Protection Division, they have form letters. They have three different form letters that you can use to fill out because you need to send a letter. Step one is going to be to send a letter to the manufacturer by certified mail, giving them information about your car, the VIN number and the problem. And you always want to send copies of the receipts and documentation. Step two, you send a copy of that same letter along with a complaint form to the Maryland Attorney General Consumer Protection Division. And you can file a complaint with the Maryland Attorney General's office online in, uh, or, or through paper. You go to their website, they have so many links to file a complaint. They have, as I said, they have links on their website for a form letter that you just have to fill in the blanks. Fill in your name, fill in the manufacturer, fill in the issue, fill in the mileage uh, that you can send off. And that's how you start the process. Letting the manufacturer know that you have an issue, alerting the Consumer Protection Division of the same thing. And then there's a procedure to go through, which I'm not going to go into all the ins and outs, but, but most manufacturers in today's world, they don't even fight you if you have a legitimate complaint. The other thing is uh, the BB and B, the Better Business Bureau. If you go onto their website, I'm gonna have links for the Attorney General and the Better Business Bureau uh, at the end of this video in the description. You can go onto the Better Business Bureau's website. They will help you file a complaint. Uh, they also have a link to click on and they will help you file a complaint with the manufacturer uh, to try to get the issue uh, resolved. The other issue is what is an issue that substantially impairs the value? So there's nothing defined in the statute other than the braking and steering system. So that is a question of fact. So for example, uh, let's say the headlights stop working. I'd say that substantially impairs the value. It makes it unsafe to drive. Let's say a window won't stay up or won't go down or a lock won't work. All of those things are safety issues can affect the health and safety of the welfare of drivers and passengers and and arguably including first responders if you're involved in an accident and they have to get you out and the car's on fire they're risking their life while the car's on fire to get you out so in my opinion definitely uh substantially impair the value uh what would not be uh windshield wipers uh die after a month because of the design of the windshield wiper and the windshield. Um, although again, I probably could argue that both ways because you need windshield wipers to see in inclement weather. Um, so it depends on what particular issue is, notwithstanding braking or steering, it has to substantially impair the value. Now, the one thing the manufacturer can do is they have to give you the price of the vehicle and all your taxes and all your fees 
they don't give you back your 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 uh, state tax. You can get that back from the MVA. The Motor Vehicle Administration of Maryland will give you that money back. Uh, you just have to provide them with the documentation that you, you have the lemon, that they took the car back, uh, refunded your money. So you can get your taxes back from the state of Maryland. The manufacturer is allowed to deduct for the use of the vehicle that you had it. So let's say that you had it for 24 months, uh, 70,000 miles. Uh, they could say that, uh, you know, you owe us uh, X, Y, Z for the use of the vehicle. However, the most that they can charge is 15% of the sales price. Um, so if the, uh, so 15%. Uh, of the sales price. So, like I said, I don't see this coming into play too often now with gas powered automobiles, just because cars are so reliable now. Uh, but you never know. Uh, something comes off the assembly line, something happened or whatever. Uh, somebody was sleeping on the job and they let something through that didn't get done right. Uh, but I really see it coming of age again with electric vehicles. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you got something out of it. I'm going to put some links in there for the Maryland Attorney General Consumer Affairs Protection Division. That is always a great resource. And I'm also going to do the same for the Better Business Bureau as well. And of course, please comment ask me any questions. You can also text me, email me, uh, however you want to get in touch with me. I would be happy to try to answer any questions. And if I don't know the answer, which I don't know everything, obviously, um, I'm happy to try to do some research to get you the answer. So thank you again. Please subscribe, smash the subscription, check on the like, check on the bell. I love you all. See ya. Mm -hmm.